Hey everyone, it's Michael Klepik, your expert in air and gas purification. Today, we're diving into a topic that's essential for anyone managing dust collection systems, types of hoppers in dust discharge systems. Whether you're handling dust from industrial manufacturing or managing filtration in large-scale facilities, understanding the role of different hoppers is key to ensuring smooth, efficient operations. So let's explore the various hopper types and how they impact dust discharge systems. Dust discharge systems are a critical component in baghouse and cartridge filtration systems. These systems are designed to ensure the efficient removal and management of the accumulated dust, which is essential for maintaining the overall performance and longevity of filtration equipment. Dust collection systems work continuously to capture dust particles generated in industrial processes, but if these particles are not properly discharged and removed, they can cause blockages, reduce system efficiency, and even lead to dangerous conditions such as pressure buildup or explosions. In this comprehensive article, we will explore the different types of hoppers, discharge devices, and auxiliary equipment used in dust discharge systems for baghouse and cartridge filters. We will also discuss their functions, applications, and the importance of selecting the right equipment for different industrial scenarios. 1. Overview of baghouse and cartridge filter dust. Discharge baghouse and cartridge filters are widely used in industrial dust collection systems. They are designed to capture fine particulate matter from processes like cement production, chemical manufacturing, pharmaceuticals, food processing, and more. However, capturing dust is only half of the equation. Once the dust is collected, it must be discharged from the filtration system and either disposed of or processed further, depending on the application. Failure to properly discharge collected dust can lead to several problems. Reduced filtration efficiency. Accumulated dust can clog filters, reducing airflow and causing a drop in filtration efficiency. Increased maintenance. Frequent shutdowns for manual dust removal increase operational downtime and maintenance costs. Health and safety risks. Dust buildup can increase the risk of fires or explosions, particularly if combustible dust is present. To prevent these issues, a robust dust discharge system must be in place, consisting of hoppers, valves, conveyors, and auxiliary devices that work together to ensure the continuous removal of dust. Two, types of hoppers in dust discharge systems. Hoppers are storage units located at the bottom of baghouse and cartridge filters where collected dust is stored before being discharged. The design and shape of the hopper are critical for efficient dust removal. Different hopper configurations are used depending on the type of dust, the volume of dust generated, and the space available in the facility. A. Conical hoppers. Conical hoppers are one of the most common types used in dust discharge systems. The conical shape allows dust to flow naturally toward the discharge point through gravity. The sloped sides prevent dust from accumulating on the walls of the hopper, which can otherwise lead to blockages and bridging when dust clumps together. Advantages. Conical hoppers provide excellent dust flow and are ideal for handling fine, free-flowing dusts. Applications. Commonly used in industries dealing with fine dusts, such as cement, silica, and minerals. B. Flat bottom hoppers. Flat bottom hoppers are used when space constraints make it difficult to install a conical hopper. These hoppers have a flat base, and while they are more compact, they often require additional equipment, such as vibrators or pneumatic systems, to ensure dust flows toward the discharge outlet. Advantages. Space efficient and easier to install in low clearance areas. Disadvantages. Require extra equipment to facilitate dust discharge. Applications. Used in applications where space is limited, such as small or retrofitted filtration systems. C. Long hoppers. Long hoppers are designed for systems that handle large volumes of dust. These hoppers are elongated to store more dust before discharge, reducing the frequency of emptying and allowing the system to operate for longer periods without interruption. Advantages. Can store large amounts of dust, reducing maintenance downtime. Applications. Ideal for high dust generating processes like metal grinding, large scale manufacturing, or industries with continuous operations. 3. Discharge devices for dust removal. 
The discharge device is a key component of the dust discharge system, controlling the flow of dust from the hopper to the next stage, whether that's a conveyor, a bin, or another part of the process. The type of discharge device selected depends on the nature of the dust, the operational environment, and the desired level of automation. A. Butterfly valves. Butterfly valves are one of the simplest and most cost-effective dust discharge devices. They consist of a rotating disc that can be opened or closed to control the flow of dust. They are manually operated or automated and are used for moderate dust flow rates. Advantages. Simple design, low cost, and easy to operate. Disadvantages. Not suitable for handling large dust volumes or highly abrasive materials. Applications. Suitable for small to medium-sized dust collection systems where the dust is light and free-flowing. B. Double dump valves. Double dump valves are designed to handle high temperature or abrasive dusts that cannot be discharged continuously. This system uses two flaps or valves, one above the other, to control dust flow. The first valve opens to allow dust to enter the chamber, then closes before the second valve opens to discharge the dust. This ensures that there is no air leakage or backflow, maintaining system pressure and preventing material from escaping. Advantages Ideal for handling high temperature, abrasive or heavy dust, while maintaining system integrity. Prevents air leakage and maintains pressure. Disadvantages More complex than simple gate systems and requires maintenance of moving parts. Applications Frequently used in industries dealing with abrasive or hot dust, such as foundries, cement plants, and power stations. C. Rotary airlocks. Rotary airlocks are one of the most commonly used devices in industrial dust collection systems. They allow for the controlled release of dust while maintaining an airtight seal, preventing air leakage, and maintaining system pressure. The rotating vanes continuously discharge dust, ensuring a steady flow. Advantages. Excellent for continuous operation, maintains system pressure, and handles large dust volumes. Disadvantages more complex and expensive than manual gates or butterfly valves. Applications. Used in large-scale dust collection systems, such as those in cement plants, chemical processing, and mining operations. D. Discharging dust into tanks is a method best suited for handling small to moderate volumes of dust. The tank, a compact box-like container positioned directly under the hopper, collects dust efficiently for later removal or processing. This method is ideal for situations where dust is generated in smaller amounts, providing controlled discharge without the need for continuous handling. Advantages Compact and space efficient, ideal for applications where dust volumes are low. Ensures controlled, contained discharge without air leakage or contamination. Disadvantages Limited storage capacity, requiring frequent emptying or transport to other systems. Applications Common in industries with minimal dust generation, such as precision manufacturing, laboratory environments, or smaller processing plants. 4. Methods of dust discharge There are several ways to remove dust from hoppers, depending on the system design, the type of dust being handled, and the layout of the facility. The method chosen can significantly affect the efficiency of the dust collection process. A. Gravity discharge Gravity discharge is the simplest and most cost-effective method for removing dust from hoppers. In this method, dust falls through the hopper and into the discharge device by gravity alone. This method works well for fine, free-flowing dusts that do not tend to clump or bridge. Advantages Simple, inexpensive, and requires no additional equipment. Disadvantages Not suitable for sticky or cohesive dusts. Applications Used in industries handling fine particulate matter, such as flour mills, chemical plants, and food processing facilities. B. Screw conveyors. Screw conveyors are used when gravity discharge is insufficient, especially when handling sticky, heavy, or large volumes of dust. A rotating screw moves the dust from the hopper to a discharge point, ensuring consistent removal. Advantages. Provides controlled discharge of sticky or difficult to move dust. Disadvantages Requires regular maintenance and energy to operate. Applications 
ideal for industries handling bulk solids or semi-cohesive dusts, such as wood processing or agriculture. C. Pneumatic transport systems. Pneumatic transport systems use compressed air to convey dust from the hopper to a storage container or processing area. This method is ideal for long-distance transport or when the dust needs to be moved to an elevated location. Advantages. Efficient for long-distance or vertical transport of dust. Disadvantages. More complex and expensive than other methods. Applications. Common in industries with large-scale operations, such as chemical manufacturing or mining. 5. Auxiliary equipment for dust discharge systems. In addition to hoppers and discharge devices, a range of auxiliary equipment is used to ensure smooth and efficient dust removal. This equipment can help prevent blockages, improve dust flow, and maintain the overall health of the dust collection system. A. Vibrators. Vibrators are installed on hoppers to help move dust that might otherwise get stuck or form bridges. By vibrating the hopper, these devices prevent dust from settling and encourage it to flow toward the discharge point. Advantages. Effective at preventing blockages and improving dust flow. Applications. Used in systems handling cohesive or sticky dusts, such as in food processing, pharmaceuticals, or chemical production. B. Aerators. Aerators inject compressed air into the dust in the hopper to break up compacted material and ensure a steady flow of dust toward the discharge point. They are especially useful for fine or hygroscopic dusts that tend to cake or form clumps. Advantages. Helps maintain consistent dust flow, reduces clogging. Applications. Ideal for fine dust like flour, powdered sugar, or silica. C. Bin level indicators. Bin level indicators are sensors that detect the amount of dust in the hopper. They help operators monitor dust levels to ensure that the system is functioning properly and to prevent overfilling or underutilization of the hopper's capacity. Advantages. Provides real-time monitoring, prevents overflows and system shutdowns. Applications. Used in large-scale industrial dust collection systems. A well-designed dust discharge system is essential for ensuring the long-term effectiveness of baghouse and cartridge filter systems. By selecting the appropriate hopper type, discharge device, and auxiliary equipment, manufacturers can ensure efficient dust removal, reduce maintenance costs, and prevent hazardous situations. Whether it's a simple gravity discharge system or a complex pneumatic transport solution, the choice of equipment will directly impact the performance and safety of the dust collection system. Torch Air offers a range of customizable solutions tailored to